<laughs> yeah, I think one of the one of the surprising things actually I've been hearing about feeling safe um, is uh, and just consistently, and that's why it's surprising, is groups of folks, usually young folks, um, in the buildings because you've seen the buildings, right? They're just mm-hmm, a staircase yeah. and the floors, and there's like three or four of those staircases. People will block the staircase, not on purpose, but they'll be like chilling there. They'll smoke, they'll drink, or they'll just chill at night, um, and that has intimidated a lot of people mm-hmm, and sure. I don't that's just a concern that's coming up a lot I don't know if you have anything to speak to that kind of stuff um, in general though like people have brought up like there's not a space for people to be in the area yeah people have talked about um, how there used to be a basketball court here it's taken away so now there's only one like very far away yeah and are those um an interesting conversation to have like with the the rec department oh those on but the best because i remember one person talking about a park yeah playground that used to be there yeah that was on that was on the tenant that was like on the man that was um that was on Oak Hill, not the Oak actual Hill. management Oak Hill. i mean that was the part of the apartment complex yeah, right yeah. not not like a right 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 um i think a lot of them are too actually like they yeah. build in the facilities they'll have like a pool and the yeah, basketball court, yeah. and it seems like they've taken some away huh not just there um, yeah, well, you know, I think, I, I think that, uh, I'm intrigued by, I know we, we, we talked about supporting organizing to happen there and I'm happy to do that. I do think one of the things yeah. that can keep people safer, and I lived for a few years in an apartment that was sort of exactly like that. Oh yeah, okay. Anyone could I get in and, you know, walk up and, um, and so, uh, and, so even from that experience, I think that the more people know their neighbors, know who their neighbors are and have relationships with them, the yeah. safer they can be. And that's yeah. a hard thing to legislate. It's a hard thing to put into yeah. but But it is yeah. something that does come from um, tenants organizing and neighbors mm-hmm. organizing. And even when they're coming together around something else, uh, like addressing landlord issues on some, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, people start to get to know each other and then they know if the kids who are right there live here or they get to know who they are yeah. and they don't feel more, you know, like, mm-hmm. or together they walk in and they ask the kids to move along or, they, you know, like whatever it is, right? So, it's, um, it is, there, it, you know, potentially kids hanging out is like, that's what kids do. And so if there's not spaces for kids to hang out, then they're going to hang out where there are spaces. And yeah. so, um, so that, right, there's the kind of rec department, public space kind of issue is, uh, is a piece of that as well, for sure. And I haven't, um, and that's very much kind of more in the, the rec department part of it is, yeah. a, is a county thing. It might be worth, worth thinking about um, or talking to the county rec department about that. Yeah. I'd have to, um, about where the, where the spaces are in that. I mean, there's obviously the rec there's the actual White Oak Community Center that's right there. But I don't know about more public, like, yeah. basketball, like, yeah. physical spaces outside. I can't yeah. quite picture them, I'm, which probably means there's not a lot around there. Yeah, there aren't that many around there, I think. Um, also, people, like, on that same vein, people were, you were talking about tenant organizing. People mentioned, a couple people actually were like, I would like to start a community garden. And they reached out to management. And so this is where I think it connects with either the rec department or management. They're like, can I start one? They'd send a follow-up and they'd get no response. And that's where it gets back to tenants organizing again is that in that community, some of them, there are a couple of those, there's like seven different complexes or so, right? Um, but I can name the ones that are ir- not responsive and responsive now generally. Hmm, interesting. And the ones that are not responsive are just like, there's, there's pretty much no middle ground. Some people seem to get responses though. Like, and I don't know why, but mm-hmm. some people, some people do it and some people don't. Um, haven't identified them, maybe they know somebody, but most people that we're talking to at the door when they have a problem, if it's related to their apartment, whether it's a community garden, whether it's like actual roaches or rats in the apartment, broken laundry machines, they're like, we don't get responses. And you heard the same thing there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, the, that, um, I'm not really like we just have to get other organizers. No, what? Yeah, space. seriously. I know. Well, there's I mean, there's nothing like community organizing to change the world. Um So what we we had um made a connection between somebody and um well, oops. <laughs> I'll <mute> that. <laughs> yeah, somebody and uh, I remember him well and his children. Yeah. Um we were making the connection uh, to Renders the Alliance. Renders Lions. Yeah. Did anything come of that? Yeah, or? they're going to come down uh, and go. I'm going to show them some of the doors that we have that we talked to specifically about, and they'll flyer there, and they'll probably flyer in the whole community. They don't usually knock. Um, 
I think they should knock the ones that we're telling them to knock and mm-hmm. then not knock the, and just maybe flyer the other ones and be like, hey, we're going to have a meeting at this date. Um, but they seem like Runner's Lines also has a lot going on. They do. They do. a small org. That's kind of how it is here. Um, so hopefully, though, and they seem down to get on it, that me and uh, Dylan, who's one of the organizers, will go out and we'll put some flyers in places. We'll knock some of the doors together and just be like, hey, there's a meeting on this. We can distribute some info on it and hopefully people will get together and start something like that. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. It's like yeah. really needed. Well, it is because, I don't know, we sort of slipped into, do you want to talk yeah, about Yeah, we can talk about it. Tenant? Yeah. The because I think so on the, on the tenant issues, I think some of them are actual straight up. There are laws in place. And I wonder if folks have been given the ability to, to um, the file the complaints to the county. I don't think so. Uh-huh. I don't think most people. And do you have that information yes. to take with you? Yeah, you and gave do... it to me. Good. And I, I've been bringing it to folks, but it seems like. It's it's a it seems like one logistically it's a follow up. You have to go back to the door to do it. That's possible, no problem. But you carry it now with you all. That... I carry it. Yeah. yeah, I carry like a, an instructional sheet that I made so that we can do it on their laptop, or I can bring, but yeah. I can't bring my laptop very conveniently on like a long canvas. So sure. Um, yeah, I carry that on me. People, I think, are often reluctant to make the complaint, even though it's structured like that. I really. And also, I'm slightly worried about over-occupancy stuff um, for some cases because now I know that some people are getting evicted for having a baby. I'm a little bit like, well, it is on, well, it's also county rules there. The over-occupancy. Yes. Oh, 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 oh yes. You mean if they... I, yeah. Yeah, that's wild. We have to, we should, let's come back to that. The, um, but people are worried about retaliation is part of what you're saying. I think people are really worried about retaliation. Like, I, uh... But people seem to just, their pathway is reach out to management. And they should. They they should always reach out to management first. They do. Yeah. It is management job. Because the way, if there's going to be an inspection for roaches or whatever, I mean, part of the question, I suspect, I've never done it, but I suspect the question that gets asked is, did did, did management know, right? But the the, the purpose of the inspectors and the law is to hold management and tenant and and landlords responsible when they are not doing the things they're supposed to do when they're told to do them, right? That's the purpose of the law. Yes. And I think um, after years of organizing and then after the tragedy and... um, the Flower Branch Apartments, it really brought the county council, um, uh, really moved on things that hadn't moved for a while that were related to broader health safety issues in, especially multifamily uh, homes. And and so there's been some progress and uh, progress continues, I think, when people continue to use the system. So there is a question, I haven't looked at that system to see if a complaint, if like someone else could file a complaint, but if you're, if you're, if you're asking a inspector to come and look yeah, at your house, that's, really that's it I, is, yeah. That's why I need them to do it. Although there are places where I think I can because it's a walk up apartment, they're set, and it's not just the inside of people's houses that are being destroyed by roaches, rats, or infested, right? Or Right, it's in the line. hallways. It is in yeah. the hallways. Yeah, or the appliances are the, there. The yeah. laundry mm-hmm. rooms are like, you know, I have a picture of a laundry room. with just like, no, there's no, the laundry machine literally doesn't have a top. It's sitting in the middle of the room, unplugged, totally destroyed. The dryer is missing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then it just looks like, it looks like it's out of a horror story. And so I have that and I feel like I could maybe follow up on that. My yeah. only concern is if that happens, like, what do they do next? Are they like, all right, well... We have to look around everything they, now? Yeah, I don't, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's a good question. So, you know, so that's an important step, I think. And then with that, as you collect data, <clears throat> excuse me, on um, what's happening and what's getting fixed through the complaint process and what isn't, they're actually supposed to be doing um, in unsolicited inspections. That, that, that was part of the plan and yes. I couldn't tell you like on what time schedule or, but they're supposed to be doing unsolicited suspect like an audit. Inspe- yeah like right yeah 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 um, not just complaint driven so it may be worth looking into you know at the county level yeah. what is happening with that <laughs> I did hear um, from a constituent just the other day this this is the second most wild story I've probably heard there was an apartment above his where a guy died in the apartment old age, I think, or a heart attack, something like that. Um, They called over and over again, and they informed management many, many times. And for four months, nobody came. And so people had to go in with hazmat suits 
and remove the guy and then they you know they refurbished the apartment after that because it was so messed up but people knew right and they were calling they were trying to get people out nothing changed there Wait, did they call like nine one one at some point? I think they called management. Like uh, that's what I'm saying. Like the pathway is like yeah. management, and not just once, right? Like it feels like I think yeah. that's the dead stop for people for yeah. whatever reason. Yeah. They call management once, twice, thrice, and be like, they just don't listen. They don't listen. I don't know what to do. Yeah, you know, three one one would be the other place, which doesn't always not always satisfying <laughs> yeah. right away. But like, yeah. had they been like management's not doing something, let me call three one one. There's a dead guy in the room. Upstairs. Like they would have gotten the police. I'm there, sure. Right? Yeah. So that would be the other number to make sure people have. Right, three one one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's the general county kind of, right. and sometimes you get good answers, and um, sometimes it's a trickier issue, so they can't direct you. But on, um, yeah, I mean, on some of the stuff, I think. You definitely want people to have that. Do you have like a little booklet now that you're carrying with what? you? Oh, like all the just I, you know, I, well, I know 311. I, I know most of them now. But I'm thinking like you want to carry like I how to do a complaint, complaints. right? Yeah. How to complaint. You want 311. I've you got want the community service of officer. Yes. You got, well, you I, to I have out. their number personally, so if I, we need to do it. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I know some of the pathways that I can distribute, but for other people, the things that I've been distributing right now, it's like if you need to file a, complete, a police complaint or you need to like email them, you just want to reach out and get like direct connection. Um, I have like a one, two, three, four steps on a single pager. Good. I can hand to people or walk them through it. Ideally, I can just be there and be like, we can do it right now. Yeah, that's great. Get it done. Um, and then the same one with a county complaint. And then if I can tell people to do 311. But unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, a lot of people weren't just like, I need leaf pickup and I can do this. Or like, there's a pothole here. But like, when there is, I'm just like, you should call 311. They really, they, they'll get it fixed. They do, yeah. Well, let me just mention one other thing on the tenants' issues in addition to yeah. the organizing pieces and the complaints that I think are really important. Um, just from a legal perspective, again, coming back to what we can do at the state level, there is a piece of legislation. It is um, uh, just the just cause eviction. And I we may have yeah. talked, did we talk about that already? I'll mention it. You talked it about it with, again. I think, constituents. But. Okay. So it's just cause eviction. Um and it, it's specific to Montgomery County. The, the law we're trying to pass at the state level would be specific to Montgomery County. Mm -hmm. And basically it would say that for a landlord to uh, evict a tenant and or at the end of their lease, not renew the lease, yeah. for either of those things to happen, they have to be able to present a just cause. And so it, it's related to the fact that tenants find that when they complain, when they raise issues, they don't get evicted right away necessarily, but because that part is really relatively protected. If you were to file a complaint with your landlord and then the next week you were to be evicted, yeah. that'd be, you could make that connection. Yeah. But the concern is tenants who feel like over the course of time they make complaints, then their lease ends and suddenly mm -hmm. it's not renewed yeah. for no good reason. They're just told that it's not going to be renewed. And yeah. so that's really sort of more where it plays out. Um, and so the, the idea is that, that that threat of that happening is what keeps people silent mm -hmm. um, on the issues. So, so that's a really important piece of legislation to ensure that tenants can speak up when they have, when they have concerns. Um, and so um, it's, it's a tough one to pass, but we're mm -hmm. going to, you know, hopefully we're, we'll keep working on that one. Mm -hmm. Is there, so basically it comes down then to, to two things. There are a few bills. And then organizing. It's, you know, it's always going to be that, right? It's yeah. always going to be there's legislation yeah. we can pass, and then there's going to be organizing that has yeah. to happen. Yeah. There are a couple of stories that I heard that were really unique, though. People, like I said, there are a few people that seem to get doing. doing yeah, it. and like, what is it that they're doing differently? It's I learned from one guy that he was just like, I call everybody early. He was like, I often have to make late payments. I call everybody like 15 days before the payment, and I hmm. ask them. And I was like, I wonder if other people are doing that. I kind of think probably some of them are but you know he was like i do it with my insurance i do it with this hmm, do it with rent yeah um but that there was only one guy who said that um many people also talked about the rent increasing 45 to like 75 nine dollars like somewhere in between there per month and a lot, some people connected that to their wages as well they were like yeah 45 dollars per month is an increase is it yeah, the wages aren't increasing that at that same pace. Yeah. yeah, and so that... Um, Still union organizing. I see, well, union organizing, yes. But although we have we have been working to increase um, the minimum wage, we yeah. did increase it, and it will be going up. Uh, Mar Montgomery County moves more quickly than the state, so, then the, I, so Montgomery County will go up over the next several years. And the hope is that as the minimum wage is going up, it sort of is pushing the wages above it up as well. So you have a broader increase yeah. for folks. Yeah. Um, and, uh, 
And then, you know, I know there are conversations at the county level about right now there's sort of voluntary, mm -hmm. um, Right now, at the county level, there's sort of voluntary sort of suggestions. Right on... guidelines? Is that... Is that? Are you going to say right guidelines? The right guidelines. Like, that's what I saw that. I, people asked me about it at the door. And I'm like, it's 1.5%. And they're like, that's not my rent increase. <laughs> and they're voluntary. And, um, you know, so uh, I think that uh, that's... Um, sorry, just looking at the other things. I don't look at the other things. They, um, yeah, we talked about wages. Uh, you know, insurance is interesting. Um, oh, the insurance is something people... That was a way for them to increase the management. And right, I haven't heard from management. Um, that was a way for them to justify their increase. So they said uh, everybody's new lease had an extra $10 charge on it out of whatever extra they had. And so they were like, okay, well, you're also paying for renters. This, uh, I can't remember what the insurance was called, but everybody had them. They didn't pay it before. I mean, th it was probably the management that were paying for it right and then they just decided to, to shift that cost to shift that cost yeah everybody that multiple people said there's a ten dollar insurance increase huh. so i knew that it was a thing across the board over that right. but it wasn't you know all of it most of it was actually just an the increase. actual rent right which is going up by more than presumably that's more than 1.5 percent oh it's yeah, it's, yeah. it's getting uh yeah. I mean, I don't know what people's rent is, but probably it's not. It's between 1000 and 1900 yeah. but generally between like eleven and fourteen, fifteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's like 5 8%. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Um, but, you know, every year there's a question about if there should be more explicit caps on rent increases, yeah. and that's an ongoing debate in the county. But... And there, do you know about the Viva White Oak Project? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I called them to see like if it was still happening because there's like no information on yeah, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and they were like, yeah, it's still happening. There's some county ordinances or something that they're they're fiddling with. And I was wondering if that maybe is what is increasing or people are talking about. They, But, you know, people are like, I reach out to management and I don't get a justification anyway. So, mm -hmm. But that in the hospital, I think people have speculated. That because like property values are going up, that they think that they can get higher rents. Is that that, that, that Viva, sort of the yeah that there's the property be, values are going to go up because of Viva White Oak, and so they or can the new it. hospital coming. I think there's a new hospital. There is. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Adventist moved from Tacoma Park to uh, White Oak. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what people are talking about. 